Hi, beautiful Virgo. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Virgo, I've been away for four weeks, so I am so happy to be back to be doing these readings. And we've just stepped through this Lionsgate portal um, where it reached its peak on the 8th of the 8th. And I'm just starting to record these uh, readings just after it. So it feels like a very specific, very unique. I didn't plan for it to be for me to be back right after this Lionsgate. Um, it just sort of happened. Never, it never happens just like that. But uh, there's a point to that. And I feel like I'm just coming out on the other side of this in a very new energy, a very anchored in, a very uh, rooted energy. And I don't know what really was going to happen with the channel because I feel like, and I always had this sort of energy about talking about the transformation of the like of the earth right now and the shift going on always, but it has been sort of more and more of a calling lately. And so if that can be transformed into these messages or if there's going to be like a whole new channel or how this is going to play out, I, I'm just waiting for, um, I'm waiting for guidance. So uh, what I want to start to say is that instead of saying like, I am a Virgo, sun or moon or whatever, and I am the rising of this and I am, you know, to just start to loosen that up a bit because of the major thing that I think is happening right now is that we're starting to unveil, uncover our identity or the makeup that we think that we are. Um, and so if you feel like maybe I've, I've, I'm drawn to Pisces this week and you have no Pisces in your chart, um, like to just look into that anyway. And if you just go to a different, like the Ayurvedic, way of looking at it, you might have a lot of Pisces in your chart and because everything is everything and nothing is separated, there's going to be a lot of like every sign in your chart, in your energy. So I'd sort of go into the collective Virgo right now rather than, okay, this is the Virgo, the person Virgo, who is the Virgo in the collective and start to read from that point. And so that means that probably you will still have a strong drawing like feel like you're called to your son, um, but start to feel like if you're drawn to other signs that maybe you weren't particularly drawn to before, just open up to that. If you don't want to do that, it's completely fine, but try to open up to it and see if there's another, another sign that you're starting to in particular be very drawn to. As a collective, I think we're all more and more drawn to the Leo because the em empowerment of us, the, in the strength and the courage that are starting to come like from the deep root of us is starting to come up to the surface. So there's a lot of Leo in the collective, I feel, right now. So with that said, I'm going to start you reading. Uh, and if there's any title, it's going to be general. So whatever you need to hear right now for this time frame, which is basically all of August for 2021. So what is going on for you, Virgo? And if you feel like you resonate with this reading, you're so welcome to the extension. I'm going to go deeper into the message after this reading is done, but you have all this time to just feel like if this is read your reading or not. So Virgo, what is going on for you? I'm so excited to be back. You have no idea. <laughs> Virgo, for the month of August, August, September, 2021. Oh, we're just flying out. So we're actually getting a little bit of Leo, but I think this was in the extension. Um, so we're starting with Passion Ignited. There's something new that is starting fresh for you. There's When there's Passion Ignited, it can be something uh, like you're being given a second chance in something. Something is coming back around for you to look at it again or something has been laying dormant, like you're just, you, you haven't been able to pick it up just yet, or you feel like something is about to take place, but it hasn't been at the right time. Now it is like passion is being ignited here in whatever situation that is for you in your life. And it's a number one, so it's a brand new beginning for you together with the shadow card, which is a brand new beginning for basically like your power and your strength, like everything I just said about the Leo collective, the Leo energy in the world is very, very prominent. Is that what you say? I'm Swedish, don't judge. It's, uh, English is my second second language. Um, so it's like endless possibilities. It's the infinity sign. It's coming into, 
coming into starting to do something that you just sort of can never fail at because it's just an ongoing never ending story right and whatever you send out is coming back whatever you send out is coming back so this is like passing the torch we're going to go deeper into these messages and see what we're going to find there for you so we, if we can clarify passion ignited there for virgo please i almost see this like little dancer this there's a little dancer sort of showing up in this green cup you see that like a little mini dancer in that it's like a phoenix rising it's like i'm 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 coming alive again really beautiful so why is the passion ignited here for virgo please It's two uh, orange borders. So the passion is definitely your sacral energy center. That is your creativity and your sexuality. And the first thing that comes up is like, okay, um, on the bottom it says a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So this passion ignited. It's like this coming alive. This life is sort of... Um, it's not it's not sneaking in there it's sort of rather sneaking out it's like you're you're coming alive you're you're coming into this period in your life where it just feels like okay it wasn't it wasn't the right time before that's what i'm getting with this like i don't know why i get second chances here but it's like it wasn't the right time before it wasn't Whatever you try to do there or whatever you try to manifest, whatever you try to experience, it wasn't the right time. And this is like the card of like five of Gabriel here is that there's this lady sitting down there with a big puzzle, a big puzzle. And she's finished it all except for two puzzle pieces. One she's holding in her hand and the other one is sort of flying in from non-physical. So from your inner being, it's like one puzzle piece is from you and one puzzle piece is from your inner being so it's like two puzzle pieces left and we're we're igniting this passion again so it's like okay you're putting down the final piece and from the non-physical comes the final piece and it seems like you can receive it now it was something that sort of held you back or held you back from receiving it in the past and now we're receiving it now we're making a full puzzle so whatever it is whatever experience whatever whatever thing you wanted to take place before that sort of couldn't happen for whatever reason we're now laying it down to a full puzzle so like the full experience is here like we're it's coming alive again now is the time it wasn't time before now is the time and five is overcoming obstacles it's a major opportunity for change here for this new beginning um together with the 10 of, of gabriel which is a completion of the old and coming into the new and being pointed in a new direction like whatever hardship you, you whatever you needed to clean up first or clear up first or move away from first like we needed to finish that task first like being down in the basement with the heavier stuff and now you're being pointed into this we can call this a lion's gate into this golden gate this golden age, this new pathway, you're being pointed into this new pathway to step into this new reality, choose a different path for yourself and have the passion coming back into your life. Completion there with 10. Really beautiful. And then we're going to take a look at this shadow card and see what wants to come up for that. Why is the shadow card here for Virgo, please? Four, oh, Michael. And Queen of Raphael. Yeah, for sure. Like you've, you've done, so four, Michael, this is like when, I see this as a chakra. It's like the chakra 
system uh, with the yellow and the blue and the purple and the red and yourself is sitting down there in the brown and brown to me is all about balance. We rarely talk about this balance chakra that's around your knees, but that's brown for me. And it's like you've done the, you've done the work within all the, the, the energy systems in your body. It's like you've done the work within yourself and you're now sitting there resting. It's like a little bit of a hermit mode here, I feel, Virgo, for you. You're sitting there resting, but completely in balance. And as you sit in this balance, for some reason, I feel like you don't, you might not feel it yourself just yet. You might not feel or understand just exactly how in balance you are. Because I think that you're looking to the outside for evidence or for um, confirmation about how you're doing. And if you're looking outside of yourself right now, it's like not too much has shifted. Like this, this puzzle thing, this thing you want to take place, this thing, like this movement or experience or, or if it's such a trivial thing as like just a relationship or more money coming in or whatever this is for you, it's like, okay, it couldn't take place before, but now it's starting to move. Passion is being ignited here, but you're not really seeing the evidence of it just yet. And so therefore not too much has shifted for you. They're still the same, the same old same. You might start, yeah, I, I, I think you can't have missed how you're feeling on the inside though. Like, but if you're not taking your score, like if you're not taking score of how you're doing from the inside, you might miss exactly how in balance you are. And if you just start to focus on the balance you are on the inside and just feel exactly how balanced you are soon you're going to start to see the shift on the outside as well and this is just sitting in nature just being one with nature sitting in meditation sitting in quietness and just finding that more and more of that balance four is all about your heart and it's all about laying a new foundation for yourself this is insights that come from quiet meditation the need to, uh, for more sleep or time off seek relief from stress so i just feel very much with this is like just having already done the work having been in meditation maybe you need to just continue to be in meditation continue to get as much sleep i mean i know for myself these shift these changes that are going on on planet earth right now you know when i'm not up to speed when i'm not up to par with the when i'm up to par with the changes you're like a freaking newborn you are like my three-year-old. There's constant energy. You know, he'll wake up in the morning and he'll go, let's build a fort. And I'm like, let's not. Let's just wake up a little bit and just sort of sort of even anchor into this world again. Like, who am I? Uh, having a little bit of water and, and then maybe build a little bit of fort. Um, so, you know, when you're up to speed with the new energies, when you're up to speed with this shift going on on planet Earth right now, there's no fatigue, there's no tiredness, there's explosion, there's there's passion ignited. There is true passion. When you're not up to speed with that so much uh, and these big changes are happening and just higher and higher energy coming into planet Earth and you're not fully up to speed with it, at times you will feel so freaking drained. I know for sure I am. I feel so drained. I feel so tired that I just need to go lay down because it's easier for my body to sort of um, adjust to the new energies as I go into deep sleep or go into meditation than rather trying to sort of work my way there in the in awake state. So yeah, maybe you do need a little bit more sleep there to just adjust yourself or just take an hour, an hour pap. In the new energy, we call it an hour pap. In the old energy, we call them a power nap. <laughs> Um, so an hour pop every once in a while is also doing wonders for the body just to lay down for five or 10 or 15 minutes and just sort of regroup. You don't have to do anything You just lay there or, or actually fall asleep a little bit and you will regroup everything within yourself. So there's a real beautiful balance going on inside of you. You might not pick up on it just yet, but you will. To understand that what a beautiful balance you're in the queen of raphael also comes out here with the shadow work. this is you just have done the shadow work this is you and i talked about it a little bit for a leo um 
is not just coming from the shadow into the light with the old version of yourself. This is you completely making a shift, starting to scale away, uncover and release the old identity of you to fully come into your true version, to your truest, truest version of who you truly are. When you're fully combined, when you're fully blended with your, in, with your inner being, a lot of the old identity is starting to then fall away. And you've done a lot of work with that, it feels Virgo, and like balancing up these, these energy centers within yourself, coming into so much balance. When the queen comes out, and definitely with Raphael, to me that says, oh man, like you've done the work. You have matured, you've come into wisdom, you've done the work. And with Raphael, which is all about the healing, healing the heart, becoming whole, with the queen it just talks about the balance couldn't be greater right now so again if there's like and i see her sitting here on her, her throne being very confident and very calm very confident and calm very you know relaxed knowing who she is sitting sitting in meditation in nature um around her here is like uh it's very turmoily it's very like uh, big waves and big splashes going on around you. So if you feel like there's like, meh, like if you look out into the world, decide what that world is going to be. Like there's not, there's not, yeah, we have a collective world still that we have, the, the majority of the collective has agreed that this is how the world looks right now. And we sort of look at the same thing. And so we repeat the same thing. Um, but if I were to look out in the world, Virgo, I would decide what I want to see so that I can be, start to be the new movement of the new earth or the new world. I want to dream up the new world, right? And so, but if you take score, if you take validation about how you're feeling on the inside and how you're, um, how you're doing, by just looking at the old way of looking at the outside reality, uh, you're gonna think, mm, not so much in the final puzzle pieces, not so much passion ignited here, and you're missing the whole point. So I hope you're more towards the, okay, I feel the inner balance. I feel I'm more on the path that I've ever been before. I feel um, like when I look out into through the world, to really make a choice to what you want to see when you look out. Instead of just be a reactor to what's happening to the majority's choice of reality, it's just the majority's choice of reality. It's not reality. It's just the majority's choice of what they've chosen to, to look at. And whether that was out there first and they just repeated it or they thought about it first and created it, it doesn't matter because it's there now. And so if you're looking out into the reality make sure you choose the one that you want to see and never ever again take score on how you're doing on the inside depending on what looks on the outside because the outside right now couldn't be farther away from who you are wow can i just get a little bit of a deeper 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 story there before we go into the extension Wow. Wow. <laughs> Believe and succeed. Number six, you're just sailing off into the new, uh, into the new earth, into the new world. Golden age. Number six, there is the connection with your inner being again. Believe and succeed. Sitting on your boat. Ascending. With opportunity beckons with the infinity sign there again. Number four, again. So there's a lot with your heart right now laying a new foundation for yourself and having lots and lots of opportunities like knocking at, at your door like i said i don't know if you feel like there's a lot of opportunities there just yet but it's like just turn around and it's going to be right there give it one more moment and it's going to be right there and to not have the outside world be the defining like whether it's working or not not your bank account not your friends or your you're anything. Okay, so I'm being, uh, so I had a session this morning 
Um, and I'm, you know, I think that she said, um, and I'm being called to share this with you. So, um, this woman, she just said, you know, it feels very lonely at times. It feels like my, all my friends has sort of disappeared. And it feels quite lonely at times to just make the shift and, and move into higher planes because it's like, it's quite empty. It's quite uh, a big space there with just me and it feels quite lonely. And, um, and what I received about that was that, you know, it's not like all her friends doesn't follow her or all her friends doesn't get it. And so they're so separated right now. And so she's left alone is rather this space is being created for her right now. Friends or no friends, same level or no same level. It's just being created this space for her right now so that she can mainly focus on this shift on just connecting inwards, going to nature. You know, if you have all of those like romantic relationships there, if you've been waiting for a romantic relationship or if you just want all of those friends around you, you're gonna occupy that time. That's gonna be time taken away from your connection with your inner being. It doesn't gonna be that for always, but for right now, there's probably being created a lot of space around you so that you can connect with your inner being and truly, truly come into the understanding of who you really are. So if it's at, if, if there's a person that's supposed to be in your life right now, that's adding on to your transformation, to your shift, to your coming into your truly be, then welcome to that person. That person is going to find you. If they're just taking away from you, your transformation right now, you're going to find a way to not see them right now. Okay. For some reason, I wanted to say that. So there's a lot of opportunity coming in and it might just feel like it's just empty space, but it's not, it's, it's going to shift a lot for you. So we're going to continue to see what this is about in the extensions. If you feel like, yeah, this is my reading. I resonate with it. You're so welcome to the extension. The link to that is in the description box down below. If not Virgo, thank you so much for listening and watching and I hope to see you back soon. Take care guys.